My name is Nefteli and I am 21 years of age and I was delinked from my mom's folder when I reached the age of 18 and had to apply for an asylum seeker permit. Delinking is a process in terms of the Refugees Act where a dependent of a refugee is removed from the principal file. After someone has been delinked, they are removed from their parents' file and they are given an opportunity to apply independent of their refugee parents and they are issued with an asylum seeker or a refugee status. In most cases, our clients are rejected. Their application is deemed fraudulent, manifestly unfounded or unfounded. They are left undocumented and when they are undocumented, they have limited access to basic services. Basic things like banking, finding a job and applying for a driver's license become really challenging. It seems like foreign nationals are an inconvenience to the system at large, whereas this isn't something we have a control over. Oftentimes, children born to refugees and asylum seekers are unregistered in their parents' country of births or origins. Their lack of registration in South Africa puts them at risk of statelessness. I wish I knew what it would be like to walk into a professional space or office and not having my documents be an issue. Being employed depends on luck, whether or not the business owner is willing to take the risk on an asylum seeker. Currently, South Africa has not ratified and signed the two statelessness conventions. What we are calling for the government to do is, number one, to sign the two stateless conventions. We are also calling on the government to resume permanent residence application section as well as the naturalization sections. The third thing we're calling for is for the government to process applications that have already been submitted, uh, as well as applications that um, continue to be submitted at the citizenship section and give outcomes for those applications. And the last thing we're calling on the government to do is to enact a national action plan to eradicate statelessness. I have big dreams and aspirations of one day owning a business and a home and simply make my family proud. But without a document, simple things like dreaming big become impossible. I'm anxious about my future and I do not know what to expect with the laws constantly changing. Many are born in South Africa and are entitled to citizenship or have lived in South Africa their whole lives and can therefore or should be granted permanent residence. I have applied for citizenship and I haven't heard a response from Home Affairs. They have no ties with any other country. This is their home. South Africa is all I know. This is my home.